hello, how are you? I am back again and today I am chatting about a florist fragrance. Now I have actually had a request to talk about florists, which is super exciting for me, but I think I only have one florist fragrance these days. I've definitely had more, I think I've used them up. But yeah, I had a rummage around my perfume wardrobe and I could only find one and quite frankly, this is my favorite, so it kind of works out well. I think actually my boyfriend might have my other, I think I had three florist fragrances and I think my boyfriend took the other two because he has a tendency to do that. Um, and he did try and take this one, but I, I snuck it back. Spoiler alert, it's unisex. <laughs> so this fragrance is Honey Oud and it's by Floris. I'm already wearing it, but I'm gonna spritz a little bit more because you know, why not? Oh, I love it. It's so, it's so good. So this is Honey Oud. It was one of the first Oud fragrances I really fell in love with. I've been wearing this probably for about five years and I think this might be my second bottle, mainly because both me and my boyfriend have been using it. So I'm a fair bit down, but to be honest, I kind of a little bit goes a long way and you don't need to, you don't need to spritz oodles the mouth. So it does last quite well which is a very good thing because it's 160 pounds for a 100 ml bottle. So it's not the cheapest of fragrances, but it is beautiful. It is really rich and decadent and opulent. And like I say, it a little goes a long way. It's got a good power to it. And it's just, it's just very, very, very rich and lovely and wonderful. And I, oh, I have to admit, I think it's worth, the 160 pounds, if you've got 160 pounds to spend on a fragrance, there's definitely worth ways to spend that money. Um, I think with Florence, you get a really, really, really high quality fragrance, which truly does last all day. Well, at least this one does. This one lasts all day, all night, and kind of on to the next day as well. It's a really good, rich, long lasting fragrance. Anyway, I'm waffling on about it and I haven't even told you the notes. This is Florist London, who are one of the oldest perfumeries in the world. And this is Honey Oud Eau de Parfum. So this perfume contains notes of bergamot, honey, oud, patchouli and rose, as well as amber, labdanum, musk and vanilla. And it is an oriental gourmand. Now I don't usually go for a gourmand, but this is, this is more, an oudy oriental with a bit of gourmand. So don't expect it to smell sweet shoppy. It's actually quite masculine. It's actually quite woodsy, leathery, oudy. It's quite dark and ambery and almost a little bit saffron and spicy, but there is definitely a hit of vanilla in there. There is definitely a hit of sweetness in there. There is quite a resinous, almost boozy, almost like a brandy kind of vanilla in there. It's really good. Oh, I love it, it's so good. There's definitely a honey kind of vibe. There is definitely a sweetness in there, but it's not a cake shop, candy, sickly sweetness. It's more of a boozy, caramelly, honey, rich vanilla-iness. Do you know what I mean? But I would definitely say the, the dominant accords are honey, oud, wood, leather, and a little bit of spice. And of course, sweetness, the sweetness in there, but like it is kind of a different sweetness. It's kind of, yeah, it's like a honey, boozy, brandy kind of sweetness. It's very, very, very good. It's very rich, it's very long lasting. I like quite a masculine fragrance and this definitely does have very much a masculine feel to it. It's definitely unisex. I definitely wear it, I really love it. It's really, really pretty. If ever I want to kind of like make it a little bit more pretty, I can always add a little bit of like Red Roses by Jo Malone to kind of like give a little bit more rose and floraliness to the oud and the honey. But to be honest, I generally just wear it alone because I think it's so beautiful worn alone. My boyfriend loves this. 
he really likes to wear it. He likes quite a dark, leathery, spicy, woodsy, oody fragrance. And he really, really, really loves this. When we got this, we didn't know a huge amount of florists. So we kind of came to the brand quite new. And this was the fragrance which has kind of turned us from who are florists into florist fans. Um, we both really like this one. I think, I haven't really smelled the whole collection. I need to go into their London store, but I really want to go in and smell more. But of everything I've smelled, I think Honey Oud is probably my favorite. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's such, <laughs> sorry about that. My memory card just, just filled up somehow. I must have really rambled on about this one. Anyway, <laughs> I think I was saying that I haven't really smelled the whole collection. But this is a perfume that we both love and this is kind of what took us from being like who are florists to florist fans. And I just think, I just think it's beautiful. I just think it's such a wonderful fragrance. And it was also the first oud that I really fell in love with. I didn't know much about oud fragrances and then there was like a big trend probably about five years ago. And I think a lot of the ouds I'd smelt at that point were very rich, very dark, very smoky. Didn't really have any softness to them. They were just very dark and intense and smoky and quite masculine. And this was the first one where I really kind of like understood why Oud was so lovely and how if you balance it with something a little bit sweeter and something a little bit more warm and lovely, it really adds to that kind of darkness and the mystery rather than just making it too dark and too rich and too intense. Like I really, it made me understand Oud as an accord and how lovely and warm and comforting and lovely it can be. Cause it can be so lovely, but it also can be quite intense. And this was the fragrance that really made me think, hmm. I like me a bit of Oud and now I'm a really big Oud fan. So that was thanks to Floris. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my video. I love this one. I think it's beautiful. I really, really, really need to investigate more of the Floris family because everything I smell has been lovely. But the one that has really captured my heart is Honey Oud, which is this one and I love it and I think it's beautiful. And my boyfriend thinks it's beautiful and we both wear and share this one. Um, it's currently in my possession. I can tell he used to wear it because the cap is missing. And I like to keep hold of my caps and keep them on the bottle. Whereas he finds himself losing them and then throwing them away. So I can tell he has been at this bottle. Anyway, that's my video. I hope you like it. If you're a fan of Floris, let me know. Let me know what your favorites are. Let me know what I should smell next. But I personally love Honey Oud and it's really made me think I need to investigate more of the collection because I'm sure there's more gems in it. I just don't, I just don't know them yet. So yeah, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was of interest and of help to you. Let me know if you have any questions. I have loads of other perfume videos if you fancy a watch. If not, no biggie. Um, don't worry, it's it's fine. Um, but yes, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do. It would be so nice to see you again. And have a lovely afternoon. Goodbye. <laughs>